my name is Pat and I teach first grade in Alabama and I'm here today to let you know what we're doing or what I'm doing here in my classroom. So I'm here in the classroom because I am doing a first grade bridges program. This program is just kind of set up as just a little transition as a little bridge from kindergarten to first grade. We also have the program for pre-k, kindergarten, I'm doing first, and we do have second through fifth as well. So just trying to get the kids acclimated to their upcoming grade for the 1920 school year. So this is day two, and it is about 8.51, and today is Tuesday, July 9th. So this program will go through next Thursday. We'll do it Monday through Thursday of this week and Monday through Thursday of next week. Our school system is closed on Friday, so that's why we don't do it on Fridays. So, which works out really good for me because otherwise, yeah, I probably would have done the program. It's only eight days. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. So yesterday what we did was covered a lot of skills that we were cover the beginning of the school year for our little firsties and <clears throat> have my little notes here of things that we went over yesterday and things that we will go over again today. So I started them out with just some sight words. We just practiced some sight words. I was trying to see what they knew and what I will have to teach. And although this class is really small, it just kind of gives me some insight as to what road to, or how to start. So yeah, we did some sight words. We did some word twists. Now word twists are some real word and some nonsense words. And you just twist the beginning sound or the middle sound or the ending sound to kind of change it up. We did parts of a book, talked about the author, the illustrator, the cover. Um, I showed them where the title is on a book. We talked about the spine. We talked about the back cover and the title page. So I showed them a fiction book and a nonfiction book. So we talked about some facts that are in fiction books. So I think that's how we did with the books. And then I started to read the books and then one of the books anyway. And one of the books has a lot of at words. So we also talked about rhyming words. We talked about onset and rhyme, showed them that. We talked about beginning sound, middle sound, and ending sounds of words. Did a little brain break. What was our brain break yesterday? Oh, we just exercise and count it as we exercise. We did some jumping jacks, we ran in place, we touched our toes, and as we did that, we counted from one to 20, and we'll be working with numbers from one to 40 in math, so I'll mention that in a few minutes. They did get a chance to go to the computer to do a reading center. I just put them on Star Falls yesterday. I reviewed high frequency words that they should have learned in kindergarten, so I'll start the school year off reviewing those for the two weeks that we're doing Start Smart. They had a little snack break. After their snack break, we did some math, which was counting from one to 40. And we also did some number bun adding. And then again, they got a chance to go get on the computer for a math center. And again, they did Starfall. So today we're gonna go over those same things and can't remember, I'll have to look at my lesson plan. I do have a little simple lesson plan, um, but I'll look at my lesson plan to see if I added something new to it. And I wanna say, I think I did, and I wanna say it was counting syllables. I wanna say, I wanna say it was counting syllables. But anyway, my classroom, I didn't take completely down at the end of the 1819 school year because I had an idea that I would probably be doing bridges and I didn't want to come in and my room was a total mess although they paid us to come in half a day and um, you know just get something on the wall get some rules get a little 
bulletin board that talks about reading and math. I'll show you what it looks like. It just says hop into reading and math with the little frog and lily pads. I put up my rules, put up some charts. I put up a math chart to 120. I put up alphabet sounds for wonders because we're going to go for sounds as well. What else did I put up? Just kind of wipe down the tables and chairs so that they could come in to somewhat of a clean room. The floors have already been waxed. The floors was waxed at the end of the school year. And I'll pan the room and kind of show you what it looks like in a minute. But what else was I going to say? Okay, I think that's it. So hold on, I'm gonna show you what the room looks like already. I do still have a lot of work to do though for this upcoming school year. So this program, I have to be here at eight and I can leave at 12.30. The kids have to be here at 8.15 and they can leave at 12.30. So my plan is to say, stay each day at least 30 minutes to an hour and you know get a few of those things done. By the time I leave next Thursday, my plan is to have the room completely, not completely, at least 90% put back together. So that when I come in on August 1st, I don't have too much to do when it comes to putting this room back together. So hold on a second, and I'll show you what this room looks like already. So that's the summer enrichment or the bridges program bulletin board that I put up. And this wall still has that AR chart up that I need to take down. My desk is a mess, so I will need to clean that off. There's my chair, my chair chair. And all of these things here. All of those boxes on top of that shelf need to come down, need to tidy up my library. On that table, that little table right there, are some centers that we're doing, math and reading centers that we're doing for this Summer Bridges program. That's my math corner. Needs tidying up. So that's what it looks like. So you can see that I don't have a lot to do because I didn't take it down at the end of last school term. And back to this bulletin board. So yeah, so that's what the room looks like right now. So there's not a lot to do, but I am gonna try and go ahead and get it done as quickly as I possibly can in the next couple of weeks. Just like I said earlier, my first day is August 1st, and I don't wanna have a lot of organizing the room to have to do. I want that already done. And the kids' first day back is August 6th. I think that's on a Tuesday. Generally, we start on a Monday, but this year we're starting on a Tuesday. I'm a little excited about that. Five days is just a little too much that first week of school for me, but although that's what I've always done, I am glad for a change. So I'll check back in with you later. We have to come up with some kind of project that we have to present, some type of learning-based project that we have to present on our last day. So the kids will go from classroom to classroom showing their display, and I may capture a little footage of that as we we'll work on that. But I'll check back in with you later. I just want to share what we're doing here at my school and why I am here today on a Tuesday, July 9th. During my summer break at that. Okay. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I just want to check back in with you and let you know how today went when I talked to you this morning. When I talked to you this morning, I shared with you what we did on yesterday. So I wanna share with you what we did on today. It is about 1234. And before I get out of here, I just want to update you on what we did today. So today when they first came in, they did handwriting on handwriting paper. I wanted to see them write their uppercase and lowercase letters. And that went very well. After that, it was time for 
computer lab. So I walked them around to the computer lab. They had about 35 minutes in there. The computer lab teacher walked them back here. Then we went into our reading. I started with sight words. We reviewed some of those, used some of those sight words in sentences. We talked about capital letter and end marks and the difference in the end mark. After that, we talked about the parts of a book again, shared with them a fiction story and informational, talked about the difference in the fictional and informational, talked about character settings, um, the author, illustrator, talked about the front cover, the title, problems and solutions. Um, an informational book, we talked about some facts that the book had, and I shared a book about apples, talked about those facts. After that, oh, we reviewed our sounds from A to Z, then it was snack break. So after our little snack break, we move into math. Again, we did number buns. They wrote their numbers from 1 to 40. I gave them a number. They gave me the next three numbers. They went to computer, play computer games. I have a center that is putting the numbers in order from 1 to 40. They did that. And by then it was time to go home. They leave at 12.15. I leave at 12.30. So I'm about to get out of here. And um, yeah, it's good to be back. It's just good to be back. So you'll start seeing more of me starting with this video right here. So if you have not liked, subscribed, please do so. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Infinity hugs and kisses. Bye guys.